Hello and welcome to this extraordinary two-part conversation on Walk the Talk. What is the story? The story goes back more than four decades. Twelve Indian Air Force pilots lodged in a Pakistani prisoner of war camp near Rawalpindi became friends, some were strangers, some knew each other, but ultimately hatched a great conspiracy, a virtuous conspiracy of escape. And three of them did escape, they dug a tunnel and escaped, only to be caught four miles away from Afghanistan border. Now, uh, a wonderful writer, Faith Johnston, has put together their story in a book called Four Miles to Freedom. She's an Air Force wife. And I'm privileged today to have two of the ringleaders and escapees of that group, the bad boys. <laughs> group Captain Dilip Parolekar and Wing Commander Graeber. Nice meeting you, sir. Nice meeting Wonderful you. to see you. Sir, uh, you, I think you fighter pilots get used to calling everybody sir. Even if you shoot somebody, you say sir. Yeah, definitely. Yes, sir. <laughs> good manners. Just before you shoot him. Just before you shoot him. And you... You had an experience with 65. I mean, That's right. You were shot in 65 also in 71. So you are a, you're a chosen one. Yeah, but I make a differentiation between the two. Huh. In 65, I was shot up. Shot up. And in 71, I was shot so down. down. Yes. <laughs> so 65, you were flying a hunter. Yes. And you took a bullet in your shoulder. Shoulder. Which one? In my right shoulder. Right shoulder. Yes. And decided not to eject. That's right. Which in was spite a good decision. Of the, in spite of the leader being after me huh. to eject. Huh. Because he thought whether I'll be able to land back in... Uh, but I disobeyed orders, so to say, mm. and landed the aeroplane back in Halwara. And I believe later it was found that the bullet had cut your parachute... Uh, cord. cord. Had I ejected, I would have hit the ground at about 400 miles an hour. <laughs> so, 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 so you lived a charmed yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what happened in 71? You were flying a Sukhoi. Yes. That time, the... The aeroplane did not give me any chance, no second chance. Ah. When, when I got the bullets in my aeroplane, it went out of control. It is my great fortune that it pitched upwards ah. because we do all our fighting at about 100 meters. Right, also. right, right. Had it pitched downward, there would have been no time. Right. But yeah, because right. It and it's a big upwards, plane. Yes, it's a huge plane and right. uh, I had no control over it. Ah. So, therefore, no choice but to pull the handle for ejecting. And where was this? This was, we, our target was just east of Lahore uh -huh. at that time. It was a radar station which was giving us a lot of trouble. Hmm. Uh, so we had to knock it out, which we did during this raid. Uh -huh. But I was left behind by the formation. You were left behind. <laughs> and, and the rest is the story. Yeah. And <coughs> Gary, sir. Every grey wall in the Air Force is Gary. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's right. I can Every, presume you are Gary. Yeah, sir. that's it. You were flying a Sukhoi as well That's in 71. Right. Yeah. And what happened? I was with 32 squadron operating out of uh, Amritsar. 32 and 26, yeah, yeah. if I remember correctly. And in fact, uh, the tail of my CO's aeroplane is lying in your museum, Air okay. Commodore Mangat. Right, Mangat. Yes, in he, fact, we'll see it. I mean, he's no I mean, more. You know, th th this is the Air Force Museum. Uh, yeah. And in fact, in uh, that is exactly the same time that I was flying with Air Marshal Bhatia and Tambe, whose picture is here. Right. And I was, we were... Whose wife was a badminton exactly, champion. Exactly, right. Dam, 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 Damianti. Yes. And, Dam and we were... There always been some stories about... Yes, yes. I have met her so there. many times. In fact, I was yeah. even interviewed by Barka Dutt yeah. about, did yeah. we meet him there? Right, this, that, right, no, but right. We, we never right. saw him. Right. And we were running in from a place called uh, Chicha Watni. Right. Towards the airfield called Sh uh, Shorecoat Road. It's named after their pilot called Rafiki. Rafiki, yes. And Who was shot down in 65. In 65. War, at Halwada. And died over Halwada. Halwada. And uh, as we were running in, this was my second mission of the day. One was <coughs> in the morning where we had successfully attacked the same airfield. When my aeroplane, I was number four in this formation. And number four normally takes the maximum as far yes. as ACAC is yes, concerned. Yes, because by that time, gunners have all... Gunners yes, have gone. The early, the early aeroplanes informed them. Right. That, you know, <laughs> that there's another guy coming. So I got hit while running in. Right. And as the lead put it, the aeroplane pitched up. In fact, I was in the process of pitching up to get into a dive huh. when I lost control over right. it because my hydraulics got hit and I had no choice but to eject. So I ejected out and as true to its uh, tradition, the Sukhoi seat is marvelous. It is rocket resistant. It's a 
K13 seat, named K13, it's a beautiful seat, even the Western world has recognized. With the ejection what? seat. Ejection seat I'm exactly. talking about. Worked absolutely flawlessly and I landed on the ground, no injuries and absolutely fit and fine, but thereafter beaten up by the villagers, hmm. which is a different story altogether. And that was your experience as well? Yeah, the villagers don't spare you. They hit you, kick you, take away your items. They were looking for my revolver, my watch, my, if I had anything else, everything. But fortunately, I was like about a mile from the airfield, maybe less than a mile. So the Air Force people came, they rescued me from the villagers and uh, asked me to stand up. I stood up. I had some injuries from the villagers. They handcuffed me, blindfolded me, marched me to the airfield. And uh, there I was interrogated. I think it was the uh, base commander from his mm. language. language yeah. The questions he was asking sounded like the base commander. But that was like 10 minutes. Mm. Within 10, 15 minutes, I was once again hogtied, blindfolded, and in a jeep. And I was overnight driven to Rahul Pindi. So tell me, where are these? Uh, did you have, when you went to prisoner of war camp, did you think you'll be tortured? Did you think you'll be subjected to third degree, treated badly? In, uh, uh, are you talking of uh, Lalpur? Yes. We now called Firozabad. Yes. When you Faisalabad. 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 When, when Faisalabad. You, yes. When you were first taken yes. as POWs, what were the apprehensions? No, All taken this. to uh, Faisalabad or taken to Rawalpindi? No, taken to uh, your first camp. That, that was Rawalpindi. Rawal Rawalpindi. Rawal 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 Faisalabad. Then though, everybody was together. Yeah. Then I see a picture of uh, you watching a Janmashmi performance by That's right. Army POW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that, was, that was when we came back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, the first impression in the camp we is were, that you will be tortured, questioned. We, we were expecting right. it. That's expected. You, how much it is and how good or bad they are, it mm -hmm. comes with time. But it wasn't that bad. But no. no you see, was there was no bad. like physical beating mm -hmm. or, you know, making you bend down or, maybe, you know, otherwise physically abuse you or something. No. It was just... Uh, questioning, standing in the corner, not give, in the morning he'll come at like 8 o'clock, uh, Gary, will you like to have a cup of tea? Yes, sir, I'd love to have it. It's, you know, that cup of tea will never come. Uh, so, you know, like... So it's psychological. Psychological. Torture. And then keep questioning again and again, same question again and again, and they, with the hope that you will get tripped, hmm. you know, make a wrong answer or... Hmm. Uh, contradict yourself. Contradict your own yourself. answer yeah. sooner right. or later. These things happen. The but, typical interrogation yeah, techniques. Yeah. Also, they had a hot and a cold man. Yeah, I see. Doing a good cop, bad cop. Yeah, good, good cop, bad. Huh. The, the good cop used to try to get under your skin and say, I say, that fellow is a terrible chap. Mm -hmm. Be very careful. Huh. He doesn't take prisoners. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, don't fool around with him. And he will say, I, I'm your, you know, you tell I'll, me anything. I'll, I'll huh? You tell me whatever you like. Huh? You, I will keep it to myself. In fact, you talked, mentioned names. This is all uh, the dirty dozen <laughs> <laughs> that came out of then, <laughs> then, then, then they were ten. Then they were ten. Because, because two came back earlier because of sickness and wounds. That is uh, uh, Vikram Petia and uh, Mullah Who was not arrested? Who, who was not not arrested? Is wrong word. Who was not taken prisoner while flying? He, he, he just a case it. of he walked it. Mixed up navigation. The, the indignity of a pilot being caught on the ground. On the ground, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, in fact, what happened, he was in a, what they, what do you call it, in a uh, 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 forward, forward air, control, forward air, air controller. Air controller. Yes. And, and, and he, he, he yes. mistook the army troops a, khaki uniform for Indian raiders. forward air controller consists of an air element, which yeah. was he, right. and an army element, which means a jeep and two soldiers, and an army officer who knows about the army. Right. So this was the team. Right, and they got caught. And yes. And he, yes, that's right. He was shot in the arm. So, so you, you mentioned names. Jumped. First of all, that's you. Yeah. Yes. Like Parulekar. Uh, still short of 30. Yeah. That's you, sir? Yeah, that's me. Yes. Oh, that's you. Still smiling. Thank you. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> old, yes. old habits die yes. hard, <laughs> good or bad. And this was a senior most officer, yeah, Commander Coelho, yeah. a very Coelho. Mm -hmm. And Harish Singh Ji, who also escaped with you. That's, that's right. right. He's uh, the, third the, one. the baby of the trio. Quite yes. Yes. right. He's no more now. No, he's yes. no more. Right? And, he died of natural causes. And Squad Lee Jaffa, who I have known for a very long time, he now lives in Faisabad. In fact, had a gas agency there, I remember. And this yes. is Brother Bhargav? Yeah. This is Brother Bhargav, Bhargav. yes. Brother Bhargav. And, and this is uh, Kurubila. Kurubila uh, and Tejwant, who lives in Delhi also. Right. And Kamat. this officer also died subsequently of natural causes. Natural causes. Um, 
but he was a wonderful and a great help for us mm, yeah. throughout mm. the very positive factor for the escape right, yeah. itself. Right, right. He was badly injured. Right. He had broken both his knees and his legs. Right, I, I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. he had He's plastic, in plastic. Yes, yes. Uh, From the toes to the grind. I mean, Jaffa, little group captain, also had a spinal injury. He, right. Tejwant, and, right. and uh, Kami. And of course, Apna uh, Petya, they were injured badly. Right. Plus, you know, when you end up with the civilians, right. how much beating you take, who does what to you, for how there's long no can you risk? There's no control. Yes. I remember. Uh, I see the names. Flight Lieutenant Petia yeah. went on to become a vice marshal. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There was a guy, a Pakistani uh, pilot, who in fact came and, as I told you, came and told my CEO that we met Gary there. He was shot down over Amritsar in a, I think, a 104. 104. And Second he, time. Yeah. And he takes out his revolver and these very sardars all around him on horses with spears and bare swords trying to get at him and he's with a revolver. And uh, Wing Commander Jog, he sent Apte. There's a boy Apte with right. us in Nats. He sent him, go and tell this guy where he put his revolver here. Susie Apte. Susie Apte, they're going to very hack him. So he went running, crossed the fence, went inside and he told the child, give me your revolver, otherwise these guys have seen them, they're going to very hack you to pieces. In the same vein, pilots are issued with a service revolver, right. which is a 0.38 bore. It's almost a cannon. I didn't even carry my it's a hole a, through somebody's body. It's almost body. a cannon. Right. And because there's no other better place to keep it, I had put it in the lowest pocket of the uh, overall. overall. Just above the boot. I think it is my great fortune that in the forces of ejection, mm -hmm. and it it's, fell out. It's, it, it tore the pocket and fell out. Because of the you yeah, know, yeah. inertia. It's very yes. heavy. It's very uh, heavy. G-force, yes. I call it my great fortune because it was not found by these people. Uh. Otherwise, they would, I mean, I shot you with insert. your own revolver. Yes. Right. <laughs> Getting you shot with your own revolver yeah, is injury yeah. on insert. And can you imagine a fighter pilot shot with a revolver? Yes. yes. <laughs> Can't stand it. A cannon, <laughs> missile. So these are all the letters and telegrams that your family received, uh, family received when uh, you oh, were uh, we didn't know to the that. POW camp. And I see... Uh, this is uh, Vikram Petia's uh, G suit that he was wearing. So, Indian Air Force has kept these memories. And I think this is a hand stitched gown that one of you, uh, Tejwan hey, Singh, who made. Who had this here? Tejwan for some reason. Yeah. I don't remember. Tejwan says he has made it, I don't know. Unless he made it up here after coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this suitcase, this suitcase was there. He yeah. made this suitcase. suitcase I remember. I By the way, there. this G suit, uh, there is a story with this G suit. Right. This G suit has inside it, below the waist, a bag. Uh -huh. three, and it is three called, bags. It is, it is called G suit for short. Actually, it is an anti G suit. I see. Huh? So this anti G suit is when you pull more than one gravity, there is a valve which opens and fills those bags with air. Uh -huh. And those. The they help filling you. of the bags they squeezes your lower portion. I see. And does prevents the blood from flowing down. Down, yes. And therefore, it keeps it raises your G threshold. Hmm. And with a higher G threshold, you can fly better. You can fight better. Tadip sir, thoda ham idiots ke liye for civilians. Haan. Explain what is G threshold. G threshold is. Uh, I, I know you, you this, pull, pull this, something equivalent of that when your auto rickshaw driver turns. You know, yes. you're, you are, when you're standing like this, your right. G is 1. Right. Right. Now, if you double your G, it's 2. Right. So when you turn I or see. you pull the out of a dive, force, uh, the which centrifugal force pushes you down. You down. Right. So uh, depending on how hard or how tight you pull a turn. And G stands for? Gravity. 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 G stands for gravity. So, so basically you're pulling 9 G, you're defying the force of gravity 9 times. Your body ah. weight at that time is 9 Nine times. Even the aeroplanes are stressed only up to a certain amount of G. They break right. up after that. Otherwise, right. they, they, they yeah. buckle up. Mm. Right. And these are your uniforms, which you are supposed to be wearing, yeah, but which, is... you, which you got out of yes. to escape. Yes. 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 We had salwar kameez on. Salwar kameez on. <laughs> and that's also a story of how you got salwar kameez Yes, yes.